In this video, I'm going to show you how to create campaigns uh, in Link Tracker. So a campaign, of course, is something that you use to track ads. Uh, it could be clicks from a solo email that you've uh, arranged with a partner. It could be pay-per-click ads like Google AdWords, it could be Facebook ads. It could even be a post in your Twitter or your, your tweet or your Facebook post. If you put in a promotional link there to your website, you may want to track that as well. So to get started, go to the project that you want to work with, click on campaigns. Next, click on add new campaign and type in the destination URL. So while you type in the destination URL, we would give you uh, some of the existing URL that is already in your account. Now with Link Tracker, of course, you don't need to enter the destination URL multiple times because every destination URL is stored separately as a tracking link. So you can select stuff that uh, already exists in your account or you can create a new one. So in this case, I'm going to select Video Profits Course Okay, and you don't have to enter the link name because we already enter uh, the link name from the existing tracking link in your account. Now let's create a campaign source. So in the example here, let's say I want uh, to put this link to the video profits course on my blog. So I'm going to type in blog over here. And for, as for the medium, you can actually enter anything you want. But if you want to make this compatible with your Google Analytics reporting, then I would recommend that you follow uh, the format that is specified by Google Analytics. So there's several formats or several things you need to enter here. If it's a referral link, which is in the case of a blog, it's going to be a link on my post. So I'm going to type in referral. It could be a PPC ad, in which case you can use CPC. You can even use banner, email, anything you want actually. And as for campaign name, I'm going to type in, let's say, uh, post coupon code. Okay. As for campaign content, I can enter the actual coupon here. And campaign term, I'm going to leave this blank because uh, this is not really a pay-per-click campaign okay I'm going to give this campaign a name and I'm going to click on create campaign okay so now my campaign has been created and you can see that we've given you a few links here first is the short link and this is the ideal link to use uh, in all your marketing and promotions uh, except for pay-per-click ads. If you're using pay-per-click ads, then as you would understand by now, you probably you will probably be bidding on not one, not two, but maybe hundreds of keywords. And it would not be practical for you to create hundreds of campaigns for each of those keywords. So when you're using pay-per-click ads, you can use this format. And the variable you see here is actually a variable that is used by Google AdWords and Bing Ads. So by placing this into the destination URL of your ads, the actual keyword will be replaced when uh, you are actually bidding on the keywords in Google AdWords. So in other words, you just need to enter this same URL for all your ads and the actual keywords will be put in here and Link Tracker will capture it uh, when an ad actually runs for your keywords. Now, you will also see the full link here and you can make this larger. So this is useful when you want more control over your tracking link and you want to maybe be able to replace any of the parameters here like source, medium, campaign, uh, on the fly. And of course, uh, in order to do that, you have some, you need to have either a third party software that does it or you, you need to do some programming codes onto your website. In most cases, you either need the short link or the special pay-per-click link that you see here. Okay, so now let's test out the campaign. Okay, so it has successfully uh, gone to the destination URL. Now, um, if you look at the address bar or the URL bar, you would see that I have automatically also sent 
the campaign tracking parameters to the destination URL. So in this case, you see a UTM source equals to blog, UTM medium equals to referral, etc. How do you do that uh, for your campaign? So let's go back to the campaign. So in the case of this campaign, um, I'm actually sending traffic to this URL over here and this is in a tracking link. So let's go back to the tracking link. And this is the tracking link that I have attached that campaign to. I'm going to click on edit for this. And you need to turn parameter passing on. So in the older version of um, link tracker, you need to, to build the tokens, as you can see here, into the destination URL in order for this to work. You don't need to do this anymore. You can just turn on parameter passing and that will pass the parameters in link trackers own TYL underscore format. Uh, if you want it to be compatible with Google Analytics, which means it should be passed in UTM underscore format, then you can turn this on and click on save changes. Okay, so now let's go back to the campaign that I've just created. And there's one more thing that I did not talk about earlier, which is the campaign cost. And I highly recommend that you apply some kind of uh, cost to your campaigns in order for you to get a better understanding of your ROI or return on investment. So let's turn this on. And in the case of pay-per-click advertising, they will be pretty uh, straightforward. You can enter the cost here and you can also put in the rules for your cost per click so by default link tracker would not apply this cost uh, for duplicate clicks and we will also not apply the cost for any traffic that we have determined to be bot traffic or non-human visitors and in most cases most pay-per-click platforms like adwords or bing ads will also not charge you for duplicate clicks or bots but it's up to you uh, if you're using some other uh, platform or some other uh, advertising network and you notice that they do charge you for duplicate clicks or bots then you may want to turn on the options here all right so let's click on save changes okay so that is how campaigns work again let's do a test here Okay, it's successful and you can see all the UTM source passed in the campaign as well. Now, let's go to reports. And in reports under campaigns, you should be able to see clicks that are related to that campaign. At the top section here, you can actually drill down to medium and you can see a referral, you can see campaign, content, and term, and this is actually for keywords. In the example here, I did not enter any keywords, but if you were to use the campaign link with Google AdWords or Bing Ads, then whatever keywords uh, that you were bidding on that have received clicks should appear in the list here. Okay, so that's how easy it is to start creating campaigns in Link Tracker to track your ads and also your promotional sources.